What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I have a video tutorial for you guys and this is on how to install Dash Launch via your RGH or JTAG. Now there are a lot of tutorials out there but I'm just going to make a simple video um, and try and make it as simple as I can for you new guys out there who have just you know bought an RGH or JTAG and want to know how to do this. Now the reason why I'm also making this video is because there is a new version of Dash Launch that has just been released so I thought I'd make a video. So the current version is version 3.13. Now at this point of time, this is obviously the updated version, but in the future there may be some more versions that obviously get released throughout time. So you can keep checking the description below to see if there is a updated version from whenever you're watching this video. So the first thing you want to do is download this. Again, I'll leave a link in the description of the video. Um, and you'll be prompted with this. Now, if you don't already have WinRAR, that's also in the description below, but most of you should have WinRAR by now. Um, so yeah, just go over to WinRAR if you don't already have it, install it, and yeah, off we go. So we're going to extract this, and you'll be prompted with a folder like so. So as you can see, there is all of these files in there, and you're probably like, well, what the hell is this? You do not need to worry, you simply just need this folder. Now I'm going to rename this, dash launch version 3.13 just to make it a little bit tidier and the next thing you're going to want to do is need a memory stick now the memory stick doesn't have to be formatted to the Xbox it just needs to be uh, you know formatted to your PC so uh, if, the, if there's stuff on there that you need to back up then do so but simply format and keep these settings quick format start hit OK wait for it to format and as you can see format complete so now we have a fresh memory stick with nothing on it as you can see so the first thing you want to do is simply drag this folder into the memory stick and as you can see it's successfully got on the memory stick now and we can eject this so now we've ejected the memory stick the next thing you're going to want to do is plug the memory stick into your console Okay guys, so as you can see on screen, it has detected the storage device and is refreshing the mounted device. So obviously you're going to want to go into Freestyle Dash if you aren't already on Freestyle Dash. Um, you can go through Neighborhood or XCX Menu. I did it through XCX Menu as I can't access Neighborhood right now. So first thing you want to do is go over to the File Manager. Now obviously if my skin looks different, um, then you will just have to find the file manager depending on what skin you're using through Freestyle Dash. Once you're in the file manager, you're going to want to go over to the right side, go into USB, and you can see the created folder that I renamed earlier. Go over to the left, your hard drive. Now you can put this anywhere you want. I just have it kind of neat and have it in the homebrew folder and I'm going to put it in here. Now again, you can put this wherever you want as long as it's on your hard drive. So you're going to want to hold left bumper and I'm going to copy it, but you can obviously move it if you want to, but I'm just going to copy it uh, for the tutorial sake. So press A to copy whilst holding left bumper down and as you can see, it's successfully completed. So now we have dash launch version 3.13 and you have all of these uh, folders and directories and files in here but to simply access the freestyle dash uh, sorry the dash launch you would want to go into install a folder and there is one default xcx in here you just press a on it and you now have dash launch version 3.13 uh, brackets 567 now if this asks you you're running an older version um, of dash launch please update it and just basically agree to everything, reboot your console, and you should now have the latest Dash Launch on your console. Um, to make sure you do, in the top left hand corner you can see the version, and yeah, you can basically access your plugins in here, you can access network stuff, paths, so when you turn on your console you can do different things, but that's not for me to tell you and explain because everything is here. Um, to basically explain that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I've helped you guys out. Uh, please drop a like on this video, comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you next time. Peace.